hello again this is just a quick video um, about mountain house you may or may not have seen hundreds of videos about mountain house but uh, I thought I'd give you my two cents because um, a lot of people do ask me is it worth getting them um, what do they taste like and so on and so forth um, if you're not familiar with them they're freeze-dried they come in a pack like that um, and you simply add water up to the line which is usually a mark inside um, but it's pretty easy to estimate if there's no line which occasionally there isn't because these are made under license by European freeze dry so um, as you can see possibly here this one's got a, a label on um, to make it more pertinent to whichever ingredients are used here I guess um, as far as taste, they get mixed reviews. Um, from my personal point of view, I eat relatively healthy, um, so I'm not used to this intensely stimulating high fructose corn syrup, MSG sort of salty ready meals and stuff. And so for me, I don't find they need extra flavour. Other people do find, you know, oh, they've not got enough flavour, they need to carry salt with them chilies, other stuff. Um, personally, if you eat well, um, you should find that most of them taste pretty nice. As for which ones do taste nice and which don't, um, the three I tend to avoid, just again personal um, preference, the salmon and potato one is not particularly great, it is a bit bland, um, and the potato has a weird texture. Um, the egg and ham, I think, is a breakfast option. I find that really, really salty and quite runny. I mean, again, if you're in the field and you're knackered and you need some calories, you'll lap it up. Um, and finally, what's the other one I'm not keen on? Um, musical interlude. Never mind. Um, the two that I do really really like though, chicken tikka curry. Um, it's not as spicy as I would have a normal curry but it's spicy enough to taste some spice and the actual flavour is really nice. And the spaghetti bolognese is pretty good. And another flavour that is really nice, as you can see I've stocked up because I'm going on a big walk soon and I've got plenty of pack, um, camps coming up. Um, the chili con carne, that's a really, a really good one. I haven't tried the desserts yet, this is custard with mixed fruit. Um, but on the basis that um, fruit is quite easily dried because it contains a lot of water and also custard comes in powder form quite commonly anyway, I'm sure that would be more than uh, more than palatable. <coughs> so that's it really. Um, I like them because they're light. Um, in the UK we don't have a problem finding water if we have to. You're never far away from a shop or a river um, and it rains pretty frequently as well. Um, so the fact that they're freeze dried and lightweight is useful and it means that any water that you don't need for them um, you can save for other things. Uh, they're quick and convenient, basically as quick as you can boil water and then wait a few minutes while you're packing that stuff away for it to rehydrate and the water to get back in there. That's it, your meal's done. Um, yeah, it's a bit lazy and it's it's not as interesting as cooking stuff in a Dutch oven or a, a poiki pot as they call it in South Africa, but it's you know swings and roundabouts. Sometimes you'll you'll want to cook something lovely and enjoy it, like with friends and stuff. Other times you just want you know you've been walking all day, setting up camp, and you just want something quick. So that's my take on it. I hope you find it useful. Um, and that's it. Cheers.